Hello and welcome back to another Chart Hub Market Update. It is the 17th of October 2023. Remember, everything you're about to see is not financial advice. It is purely art on the chart. And you should go and check out all those links down below. Come and support the channel. Join the Discord. Let's have some fun and share some charts. All right, let's get into the market update with Bitcoin starting us off as usual. Now, the weekend was relatively steady, uh, finding our way to back test the breakdown of this range. Then, of course, along comes the Monday trading day where we find a little bit of uh, a bit of news <laughs> and uh, away prices go all in the matter of uh, one four hour candle, an hourly candle. <laughs> yeah, pretty. Uh, Pretty much uh, in and out in two 15-minute candles, as you can see here. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really all down to um, some sort of news, whatever it was. It doesn't really matter. Um, and this is just sort of what happens here on Bitcoin from time to time, where a news event, whether it's uh, true or not, can uh, have a, a pretty drastic effect on the price now we do see uh, you know a huge markup followed by a lot of selling straight after so um, you know really people getting wrecked on in both directions in terms of uh, in terms of leverage so unfortunately things like this can really disrupt uh, you know your ta and uh, you know, just just generally everything that you've, you sort of put down on the chart. Um, but uh, hey, you know, 30.7 holding as a nice resistance, and then seeing that supply come in and completely, uh, well, at least wipe out 50% of of the gains, just over 50% of the gains for that day. So I expect now, really, Bitcoin just to chill here for a minute or two, uh, just. Uh, you know to recoup from the events of today or oh, yesterday wherever you are okay the monday trading day so just to, to to mellow out and assess the situation now i think uh, overall uh, bitcoin's not in a terrible position you know still uh, still seeing that uptrend intact and uh, you know declining volume across the board apart from you know of course monday but uh, you know still declining volume across the board relatively chill price action but uh yeah a couple of good strong moves to the downside aside from that there's no major warnings up here for um price to to break down lower you know any any test down towards 25.5 from here um you know monitor that volume on the way to that level should we start to fall if we start seeing an increase in supply, then just watch out. But uh, for the most part, you know, we've uh, we've held a good level here. Okay, let's go into our other Bitcoin chart, our slightly older Bitcoin chart. If you want, we haven't visited in a, in a little bit of time. Um, but this one does have some better horizontal levels labeled out, as we can see here. You know, just playing these levels, we break out. We end up back testing, reaching up to the next level, resistance, support. Now back as resistance, that 28.6. And 28.6 has been a level that uh, we, we've been watching for a while. And 26.8 is the uh, is the other side, right? Wherever that is, somewhere around the low here, 26.8 and 28.6. Between these two has been a pretty hot area to bounce between. Kind of reminds me of that uh, silver, $22 to 20 five <laughs> seems to be another level that uh, we uh, two levels that we seem to bounce between on another chart here but anyway so we do uh, this this chart showing a potential bearish bat pattern and we do have the type 2 return for the shark um, way up here um, still in play in fact type 2 brings us to 31.5 so like i said expecting maybe a little bit of a chilled couple of days though uh, you know would be good to see this supply get uh, get taken out so let's uh, look out for that higher low and uh, and possibly continue to the upside that's what we're looking for here I think there's we've spent a lot of time you know expecting or anticipating some form of a drop I know this uh, little structure here has people worried possibly questioning 
things. I think it's a, it's a little bit ugly, maybe a little bit of a stretch, uh, but we have to continue to see how, how this forms here. But, uh, you know, if we keep looking at this, it's, uh, there's not a whole lot here that's, uh, that's, that's overly bearish. Um, you know, we have seen a lot of defense of that 25,000 level. Okay, so area where um, there has been buys after relentlessly testing it and able to really convincingly break down, in, in fact, at all. All right, so let's uh, let's 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 move on. Let's not drone on about Bitcoin too much. Something on maybe uh, a little bit more interesting. The Nasdaq yesterday attempting to bullishly engulf Friday's red candle, um, unable to do so. And currently pre-market flat on the day. Uh, SP500 futures also flat as of right now, but still quite a few hours to go until market open. Is this going to be that higher low that we're looking for? Well, look at the volume. It was the typical Monday volume, so not a lot of information we can gather from, from that. Um, and this could easily be wiped out within the day. But uh, you know, we have to you have to give it credit. Um, you know, price did push throughout, but uh, again, a relatively low volume, a bit of a, a, a sort of a, a chill move to the upside. Looking to roll over here, though. That's what I'd be wanting. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting some downside here still. I'd like to test, properly test the low of this range. There's an opportunity for a potential bat pattern here as well. Um, you know, should we roll over? This is the four hour chart. And if we were to roll over here, then the downside target is going to be all the way down here at 14.2, somewhere around there, the low of this channel. So, yeah, I think that's okay. Actually, 14.2. Uh, should we uh, should we not roll over here? We we, we continue to see that uh, that push to the upside. Then we'll be looking at uh, once again testing 14. Uh, sorry, 15.4 thousand. That's the level to get above. And as we get closer, we, we do form a little bit more confidence with this supply line here. All right, but uh, a break of this supply line is going to be absolutely huge. And especially if we can get past these horizontal resistances, that's going to be at 15.7. It's also going to be that 16,000. We are without a doubt heading up towards all time highs at 16.7. Okay, this is not a drill, people. This is not a drill. All right, we, we did see good demand come in at a, at a crucial level. Um, and we're starting to see volume just chill off a little bit. A bit of supply come in, but effort versus reward, quite a big amount of supply. Um, you know, relatively mediocre move to the downside, 1.86% across those two days. That's something that can easily be done in one day, in fact. Probably was yet yeah, almost done here on just this one up candle there. Okay. And again, we also have to give respect to the fact that 14.6 is going to be heavily defended as well. All right. And uh, PRI here looking for that bearish divergence. That's the higher high on our PRI, a potential reversal indicator, and a lower high on our price action. Still yet to confirm that, but uh, expect. I'll well, we'll expect to see a red line appear across here soon enough. All right, natural gas. Uh, so natural gas, big gap down yesterday, continue, continued that selling off, did start to find uh, some supply coming in as we got closer, edge very closer to $3. We hit about $3.05 and started to, to bounce. Um, currently up pre-market 0.26. Um, and we are at that target one of the crab pattern. So potentially looking for a type to return here back up towards $3.38, $3.40. Um, but uh, yeah, that $3 level is the one to hold. So if you're in a short position right now, you may want to be looking potentially at taking some profits um, and maybe flipping long, of course, on financial advice. But uh, you know, we will be looking for that type to return. Now, PRI's got a, still got a while to go till we uh, till we do hit um, till we do hit over sold. I wonder if there's a bit of a shark harmonic here. Interesting. 
Um, so yeah, we do have a bit of a bit of a way to go until we're over sold. Um, three day, really three days, just getting started, and and, and likewise on that weekly. Okay, it would be a good level just to hold, bounce around here just for a little bit. Let those oscillators reset. Okay, four hour saying bounce with that blue PRS right there at that target one. But again, on the larger time frames, we may just be looking for that opportunity to, to sort of just chill here for a little bit, maybe test $3 properly. And uh, yeah, maybe even a little break on the inside. Just give us that, 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 that effect of a spring, like around about $2.98, maybe just a little bit lower. Um, Oil was also up pre-market, but not by much, 0.13. Look at this four-hour chart now looking to create these um, higher highs, higher lows. Let's get back up towards that uh, $94 area. Looks like actually a potential pattern, is there? Yeah, I think there's a potential pattern here. Looks like a bat. There we go. So they get a potential bat pattern there on oil. US 10 year up 0.72%. Another potential pattern here by the looks of it as well. Is this more of a oh no, is a bat? I was gonna say Gartley, but it is more of a bat. Nice. Okay. Um, and uh, and the DXY. DXY now back below that trend line. Let's just zoom out for a second. Now this shark is still in play, but uh, uh, you know, it doesn't look too great uh, possible ABCD pattern here in fact maybe that looks a little bit nicer let's mark it out no it's a it's a, it's a bit of a funny B really okay so there's possibly a still a still a pattern here uh, should we start to roll over you may may get a Gartley out of it maybe come into that 50 day moving average something like that uh, but uh, yeah, DXY rejecting that trend line once again, looking for lower prices. But that was a strong Thursday last week. Um, let's see if we can test that price action there. Um, and gold and silver down pre-market. Um, rejecting off that trend line since that Friday move, no surprise. Got a PRS signal there on the daily, unconfirmed. Still 12 hours, 58 minutes right now till confirmation after that lovely Gartley with the PRS signal. Target one of the Gartley with that, that, that deep crab. Remember the deep crab just here as well. So type two return back down towards uh, 1846. But uh, that's a big old demand candle. So, uh, you know, the level there, 1885, is going to be really heavily defended. Um, and there's silver hit our potential reversal area box um, nicely there and rolling over. Still looking for that pattern completion, but I don't think we're going to get that down here. All right, so uh, yeah, there you go for silver. Aside from that, that's uh, that's really the market update. Everything that we really, really need to cover. Pre-market has just started. So um, yeah, as always, remember to trade safe or you will get wrecked.